160. He's gone. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a, a good week. Had a good week, good weekend here in Texas. It is absolutely beautiful right now. So I've been spending as much time outdoors, working on the boat, working on the Harley, working on my buddy's RV project thing uh, as I can, because it's it's this is the best part of living in Texas right here. Anyway, the topic for today's uh, vlog is a little bit more on the practical side. Um, I want to talk about basically productivity software that I use for my business and that I recommend for a lot of folks that are wor working on projects or having to keep track of a whole bunch of stuff like I am. Um, and I know this isn't really like one of those sexy topics that, that everybody like wants to talk about, you know, it's not a supercharger or a boat or whatever, but to be honest with you, I mean, a large part of the reason that I've been successful at doing what I do is because of the level of organization. And so the first, the first piece of software we want to talk about is really basic, Microsoft Excel. So the way I do it is I use Microsoft Excel to keep track of all of my financial stuff. So every time I buy a new bike, I create a Microsoft Excel file for it. And if it's a parts bike, I create special columns that calculate eBay fees and shipping charges. So I, I keep an accurate track of how much you know profit I'm actually making. And that's where things get a little sneaky because eBay will take all of your fees for the month and they send you a monthly billing cycle. You don't pay each um, fee as things sell. You pay them at the end of the month. And so the amount of money in your PayPal account uh, at any given time isn't going to match up with, with kind of your overall costs. The other thing is USPS immediately pulls money out of your PayPal account. So if you spend five bucks on a fly rate envelope, it immediately pulls those five dollars once you create the label, whether or not you choose to ship it. And as a result, USPS um, shipping stuff is uh, cancelable. You can go back in and, and cancel it and get your money back. FedEx, on the other hand, operates on the principle of they give you a cost and you print out a, uh, a, a tag, you know, but you don't actually get charged for it until it clears the first FedEx like kiosk thing. So basically until you drop it off at the FedEx store, it, it, it's, it's not charging you anything. The other thing is when going through eBay, FedEx charges you on a monthly uh, level. So they just add your, your uh, monthly bill from eBay which is gonna include all of your fees and your overall used FedEx charges. And so I built a spreadsheet that basically calculates all of that up front. And so I can look at a project and go, okay, well, so this part, I sold this part for $100. I paid $13 in eBay and PayPal fees and it cost me another $10 to ship it. So I've actually only made $77 on this part. And so it keeps track of that in relation to how much I paid for the original bike and helps me uh, understand when I break even, when I start going into the green on projects. On top of that, I have another uh, separate spreadsheet that keeps track of the overall business. So it shows me a single line profit loss on each project we're undertaking, including ones that are going on right now and past ones for this fiscal year. And so I can see how much money I've made year over year, month over month. It breaks all of that down for me. And it takes a little bit of, a little bit of time depending on how you complex you wanna make it. Uh, and you put that time in up front, but once you do that, you're just copy pasting uh, those spreadsheets and it, it makes it a lot easier to keep track of your finances and give you an accurate idea of how much money you're making. Changing gears slightly, the other big tool that I use is Microsoft OneNote. And I primarily use this for projects that I am building, like the Harley or the boat. And the reason that's valuable is because I put in into the OneNote everything that I need to do. It's like a full-on checklist. And I save it. And so when I go to sell something, you know, a year later, six months later, I can give an accurate uh, summary of all the work that's been done because I have my OneNote. And it lets me keep track of time and, you know, and the other thing is it updates automatically. So you don't have to save anything. So if I make one change to the OneNote at work, I come home, open the OneNote, the change is there. It's, it's already there. So I use that on bigger projects because like the boat has something like 50 or 60 line items of things that I, I, need to, I either need to or have addressed. 
and as a result, you know, it's uh, it, it's quite an undertaking, right? Because if you ask me six months later, hey, you know, what all gaskets did you replace? Like, oh man, I don't know, I replaced a lot of shit. No, six months ago, and there was a lot of beer between then and now. But you know, if you just look back at your spreadsheet and go, oh well, you know, I replaced the TBI gasket and the rear main seal, and I replaced the valve cover gaskets. And I did this and I did that and it's like oh well here it is and I can show you receipts but here's kind of an overall list of everything I've done and it just helps me manage my time which in turn segues us to the final uh, productivity tool I want to talk about Google Calendar now I literally run my life on Google Calendar because I'm an engineer I'm a planner I'm a list guy I gotta have everything you know up front planned out down the last minute so that I can you know make the most out of my uh, out of my free time or, or rather out of my work time when I'm working on, on projects you know it helps me make sure I don't forget a step and stuff like that and so Google Calendar is really useful in the sense that you can plan things out time-wise and everything always takes longer than you think it will but it lets you remember oh okay Saturday morning I need to wake up and work on the Harley and so when I drag my ass out of bed I go down there I'm like oh Google Calendar says I need to do an oil change I need to replace you know the drive belt and I need to do this well I can just start knocking those out I don't have to spend any time thinking about what's been done what hasn't been done what I should do first I've already thought about it planned it out and now I can just execute it the other thing is Google Calendar has some other side benefits. Uh, from a safety standpoint, anytime I go out to go pick up a motorcycle or to sell a motorcycle, I put where I'm going, who I'm meeting, their phone number, and whatever information I have into a Google Calendar event. That way, should anything happen to me, you know, whatever, there is a, a record that can be accessed that will show where I was, what I was doing, and who I was doing it with. You know, it's a nice little backup plan, um, and it helps me keep track of stuff. So, you know, if I have a if I have an issue or something, I need to contact a guy I bought something from six months ago. I can go back in Google Calendar and and find you know what his name was, what his phone number was, and whatnot. Because I don't save all these people into my phone or mobile. Yeah. I'm sure those guys got cash. Nothing shady about that at all. A few uh, housekeeping things real quick before we wrap it up. I um, Next week is Euphoria Fest, uh, and so you probably won't get a vlog next Monday because I'm probably going to be in no condition to do a vlog next Monday. Uh, the boat is cranking right along. Um, there's going to be another update video here pretty soon. I've really got a lot of work done on it. Now I'm mostly just waiting on the interior, which I can't rush, and it's not on me, so uh, that gets here when it gets here. The Harley, I know I've been dragging my feet on it. Uh, you guys haven't seen an update in a while because there hasn't been much to update you on, but I'm actually going to go home and uh, work on it here uh, in the next little bit uh, and see if we can get it basically to get all the mechanical stuff and the actual stuff done. Uh, today hopefully and uh, then we can move on to the paint and body shit um, but once I have it running and movable I'm gonna be pretty happy with myself nope still mobile as the guys from MCM say keep your eyeballs on my face balls Facebook backslash Maxworks uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram Maxworks and uh, keep an eye on the channel two videos a week Monday and Friday 9 a.m stuff coming and hopefully I'll be posting one of these vlogs from the lake uh, very soon very very soon